Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to load data when you're working on your data science project. So I'm going to be using Google Colab to show you this and at the end of this you can always click the link in the description below and you'll be able to get a copy of this notebook. So let's dive in. So when you have a .zip file how to load it is a little bit different. You, you can either unzip it first using your local computer or you can unzip it using Google Lab or Python or any Python notebook as a matter of fact. So to do that, you, um, you kind of do this. So if you are unzipping it using your local computer, you just do wget without this command. So this command, this apostrophe right here at the beginning is basically running shell commands inside a, py inside a Python notebook. Okay, so if I click on this and type this in, that's how you unzip it. And that's what shows up. And another nifty trick about running shell commands inside a Python notebook. Let me use this one as an example. So the initial URL that we had, remember that one? And this URL that we unlocked here. If you want to just view the data on the URL, you can just um, do this and type in the URL. And when you run this, you kind of get a preview of the data. Okay, you can also do this on your on your local machine. So if you go to your command line, and instead of typing this, you don't type this, and you only type that in inside a Python notebook. But when you're working on your local machine, like on your command line, you can just type something like this, and then the corresponding URL, and click enter. Again, you see a preview of um the data. That's a nifty little trick that you can do. So basically, whenever you're reading a Python notebook and you see this, this is basically a shell command that is being used inside a Python notebook. So I think we've, we have done, um, we are done getting the data. And now to un actually unzip it, this is what you type in this and then you type in unzip. And let's go here to our files. Not these files. If we go to our files, I can see loan start 2014q4.csv. So basically, this code right here just gets this file itself. And this code is unzipping this zipped file. So you want to unzip that and click enter. Alright, I believe it's unzipped. And now just to um, get a view. Let's refresh this. As you can see, this is the original zipped file. This is an unzipped file. We can get a view of um, this folder. This is a folder right here. I believe so. We can just type head longstar.csv. As you can see, you can kind of get a preview of the data itself. And you can, you can also type in tell we'll start the CSV, enter. You can also um, get a preview of the tail of the data. So these are just nifty tricks that you can use inside your notebook. So now let's actually go ahead and read our data. So let's call this loans is equal to pd.readcsv let me go ahead and close this so you can see better so if we go here and just type in loans.head this is what it looks like and we can clean this up a little bit more by just adding a few lines of code yeah it looks much better so basically by doing this where is that? yeah by doing this we were able to like skip those last two bit those two footers and we are able to skip the extra space on top. 
so basically um this right here removes that little one inside that we were getting so that's how you would load and unzip a data set that was zipped so at the end of it all oh, this video showed you four ways to load data in a python notebook and of course you can always click the link in the description below to download a copy of this notebook i'm going to make it available you can download a copy of this notebook and once you've downloaded it um you won't be able to write on it you just have to click on file save a copy and drive that's how you get your own copy and once you get your own copy you can edit it and you can always click locate and drive to find where your file is if you just want the python version of this you can do download that's ipynb and you can be able to download just the python version of this um, no notebook or anything like that and if this video helped you please subscribe thumbs up share and most importantly comment below if you want me to make more tutorial videos like this one i hope you liked it and that's it for today thanks bye